Hey, how's everyone doing? My name is Professor Wasi, and I am one of the professors here at Option Snipers University. And what I want to go over today is using Thinkorswim and learning how we're going to be adding our exponential moving averages to our chart. All right. Now, the first thing we want to make sure that we have is the Thinkorswim desktop application. Okay. So you want to make sure you download that first and foremost. Now, after you've done that, you can go ahead and open up your Thinkorswim desktop app using the live trading section. Okay. Make sure you have live trading open. Now, after you've done that, we can go ahead and get started. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up Thinkorswim. All right. As you can see here, we have our Thinkorswim desktop app up. We have the ES futures currently selected here for us to view. And what we're missing right now is our exponential moving averages. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The first thing we're going to want to do is right click on the chart. We can go to studies and then edit studies. Okay. Now that's one way to get here. Another way to get here is at the top here at the bar. You're going to go to studies and hit edit studies. So there's two ways you can get there. All right, guys. Now, what you want to type in is move av or a V G right. <laughs> And then exponential. So that's one, that's one of them. That's two and that's three. Now we're going to be adding three exponential moving averages to our chart. The first being the nine EMA. Okay. We're going to give the nine the color purple. Okay. Then we're going to change this 20, this nine to 21. We're going to give that the yellow. Okay. Then we're going to change this nine to 50. We're going to make that blue. All right. Then now we're going to save this set as 92150 EMA chart. Okay. You can save the study set. That way you can always get back to it if anything ever changes. Then we hit OK. And now we see our exponential moving averages. Obviously, in our community, what we teach everyone is the idea of using these EMAs potentially as areas of interest to either enter a trade or exit that trade. Okay, so you want to make sure you have all three of these up on your chart. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to add your EMAs to your chart. If you want to learn more, you can go ahead to optionsnipersuniversity.com and check us out. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where we're going to be dropping new content every week. And other than that, I think that's everything. So peace out.